Shirt against Leicester City on March the 27th. Missing from the Charlton lineup was Scott Bento, who was serving a one-match suspension after being booked at Portsmouth. Meanwhile, Peter Garland and Alex Dyer were both recalled to join the first team. Leicester had won six league games in a row before this match, leaving City riding high in the Division 1 table with 61 points, 10 points clear of Charlton. From Filbert Street, here's David Wigley. Leicester in their now familiar all blue, attacking the goal away to our left. With Steve Walsh, six goals in the last six games, spearheading the attack. And it's interesting to note that every time Steve Walsh has scored, Leicester have not been on the losing side. Joke him. Up to Walsh, back to Joachim. He's got low wide if he wants him, he finds him. Coatsworth wants it, but Lowe sweeps it into the middle. Walsh gets up, back with Gary Mills. First time shot across, Joachim with a header! Oh, what a goal! We've only been playing 45 seconds. And Julian Joachim gets his 10th goal of the season. And Leicester City go into the lead. Walsh with a corner deep, muggled and out. Oh, he dropped it! The Charlton come away. And come away well. Dyer. Again, Hill covering well. Walsh can't control it. Leicester just uh, lost a little bit of their tidiness. Oh, that's a good shot. Fully 30 yards out. building nicely good ball from Walsh good running from Nelson lays it back to Dyer cross comes in leave it with a header oh what a magnificent save from Muggleton well that really was football of the highest quality a lovely move Garland to Nelson the cross from Dyer Leeburn's header had goal written all over it until Muggleton flung himself upwards and backwards and turned it over the top. Pure magic. Thompson gets it away. Bacon straight into Oldfield. Bacon again. Far side to Nelson. Cross in. Lieben again with the header. Oh, and again Muggledon flies away to his right he's really enjoying this and so are the crowd twice Lieburn denied by two superb saves from Carl Muggleton so Walsh will take the corner Charlton's third, swings it in Walsh gets it away, Dyer with a shot header comes in from Lieburn deliberate but it goes over the top. Walsh seemed to uh, take a little nudge from Simon Webster, but the referee saw nothing on toward. Garland. Good turn from Nelson. Bacon up to Walsh. Lieburn with a free header! And again, Muggledon on the spot. Well, questions being asked in the Leicester defence there. Lovely sweeping cross from Colin Walsh. Lieburn, all on his own. Hit the header well. But Muggledon was there. And we're in the last minute of the first half. Well, that is according to our watch.
Lee Burnup with the header. Nelson. Back to Garland. Force wide. Great save again from Muggledon. Lovely ball from Nelson. Garland with pace went past the Leicester defence. Was forced wide by Muggledon. Who then made a stunning save. Mills with a free kick. Mr. Burge has a look at his watch. Gets a signal from uh, his linesman. Phil Pot, good deep cross. Walsh with a header! A superb goal from Steve Walsh. An even better cross from Lee Phil Pot. Right on the stroke of half time. Got pitcher inside to Walsh. Oldfield. Walsh again. Floats it far side. Up go the heads. Lee but oh again muggled him. Makes an astounding save. And Carl Lieben is wondering what he's got to do. Lovely cross from Walsh. Laid back in. Lieben six yards out. Hit it well. And Muggleton stopped it with his legs. Thompson. Comes away nicely. Joke him. Sweeps past his man with ease. Good ball from Walsh. Thompson again. Bill Potts on side. If he can get there. Cross comes in. Walsh with a header. What more can you say? Steve Walsh his second goal of the afternoon with the 11th of the season Phil Pot down the line to Walsh up to David Lowe can't quite get there Lee Byrne back to pitcher good challenge comes in from Thompson Nelson with a shot So Leicester taking ample revenge for not only the 2-0 defeat earlier in the season, but... Uh, oh, yes! Mistake by Gary Coatsworth. Dyer's on hand. Muggled in this time. No chance. A little bit of urgency gone out of Leicester's play, and they can't afford to do that at the moment. Lee Burn to Walsh. The architect of many a move. Ball through to Lee Burn. Smith's there. Oh, and Muggledon came off his line. Smith hesitated, and Lee Burn almost toe poked it through. Steve Walsh arguing that the free kick was taken in the wrong place. Nelson with a shot, oh a great save again from Muggledon and Nelson can't believe it wrings his hands what have I got to do to beat this man he said the final score, Leicester City 3 Charlton Athletic 1 with Leicester's 7th league win on the trot equalising